They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. It's a tough time to be an immigrant in America. United States is an independent, self-governing country. It has sovereignty and it has a right to decide who should come to the United States and under what conditions they can come here. But immigrating to the United States is becoming even more difficult. Raids against new residents are on the rise, as are deportations that lead to families and communities being torn apart. Many immigrants attempt to obtain their green cards, but due to the lengthy and complicated process, they ultimately fail. In 1991, 1.8 million immigrants were given their green cards. In 2015, that number had been reduced to 1 million. And in the summer of 2017, President Donald Trump proposed even further cuts, a 50% reduction. Because the process of getting a green card is long and becoming even more difficult, many people resort to staying in the country without proper documentation. I will be the first member of Congress who was once undocumented as an immigrant. For us immigrants, our commitment to this country isn't always found in our papers, in our documents. We had the opportunity to interview Congressman Adriano Espaillat. Why did you immigrate to the United States? We came here, my family, to do better for ourselves, to do better economically, to come to America. Immigrants have a rich tradition of doing well in America, striving for the American dream. In fact, 40% of Fortune 500 companies were founded by immigrants or children of immigrants, including Google, Tesla, YouTube, Intel, and Pfizer. For all the contributions that immigrants have made to society, there's still a common misconception that a majority of undocumented immigrants bring crime to the United States. In fact, most immigrants don't commit uh, a disproportionate level of crime uh, than, than a regular or legal or uh, American citizen. I think they commit less crimes be precisely because their, their status is, is, is not determined and if they do anything like run a red light or, or um, something like an infraction, they may be stopped and deported. Out of the 333,000 deportations in 2015, only 42% had prior criminal convictions, while 58% were peacefully contributing to society. Immigrants are the teachers who inspire our children, and they're the doctors who keep us healthy. They're the engineers who design our skylines, and the artists and the entertainers who touch our hearts. Immigrants are soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, coast guardsmen who protect us, often risking their lives for an America that isn't even their own yet. Many communities value their immigrant neighbors. One example is Montgomery County, Maryland, next to Washington, D.C., where 38% of the population is foreign-born. We're coming with our own savvy and experience. Uh, we can do things differently, maybe much, we can contribute better. If we could judge less and, uh, yeah, not assuming things and under underestimating people, I think you, you can find a lot of potential out there. But even Montgomery County falls victim to senseless anti-immigrant actions. In August of 2017, two brothers were detained and deported while they were reporting for a routine check-in with Immigration and Customs Enforcement. I'm heartbroken right now. Um, they treat my brothers like they're criminals and they are not. And they're taking away opportunity to succeed in this country. I can't believe this. And all my family is heartbroken right now and really sad because it's not fair. There are some relatives of mine that are undocumented, they haven't committed any crimes, they work and they pay their taxes, 
So you're willing to deport them for, for not doing anything wrong? Your family made a choice to engage in behavior that's prohibited under the laws of the United States. And the fact is that behavior has consequences. So my willingness to enforce the laws of my country and to ensure that the rule of law, which is what makes life in the United States livable and attractive to so many people, is not the problem. The problem is that members of your family chose to violate the laws of the United States. And when the consequences come, they don't like what the consequences are. Many people forget America's history. We were founded and built by immigrants. Our strength comes from our diversity. And if we continue to welcome everyone with open arms, our country will only get stronger. We are a nation of immigrants. I am an immigrant. I am an immigrant. I am an immigrant. I am an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. I am an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. I'm an immigrant.